Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to find the binary subtraction using ones complement and the twos complement. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed about the binary addition and we have seen uh, what is the ones complement, what is the twos complement, how can we represent the negative numbers using the ones complement and the twos complement. So I'll post the complete playlist of these number system in the description. Just go through that one so that you'll be getting an idea how to find the ones complement and twos complement. Now, we will see the binary subtraction. Binary subtraction using 1's complement and 2's complement. See, using 1's complement. First, we will see we are using 1's complement and then we will go with the 2's complement. So, we need to perform the subtraction between two different binary numbers. For example, if you take some 10 minus 7, okay, 10 minus 7, so this can also be done with the help of 10 plus minus 7, right? So we can also perform this subtraction by addition operation. So 10 plus minus 7, right? So here, the first number, the first number is a 10, second number is a 7. So now find out the binary equivalent of 10. What is the binary equivalent of 10? 1, 0, 1, 0 this is the binary equivalent. What is the binary equivalent of 7? 0, 1, 1, and 1. This is the binary equivalent of 7. But if you want to perform this subtraction 10 minus 7, we can also do that with 10 plus of minus 7. So how to find this minus 7? So by using the 1's complement, just flipping the bits will give the 1's complement. So this can be done as 1, 0, 0, 0. So this is minus 7. Okay. Now we can perform the addition between 10 and 7. So 1 0 1 0 and 1 0 0 0. So use an addition operation. So we have seen the binary addition. So 0 plus 0 it will be 0, 1 plus 0 it will be 1, 0 plus 0 it will be 0 and 1 plus 1 and 0 and 1 is a carry. 1 is a carry. So this is the thing. Now see if you are having a carry okay after performing the addition if you are having the carry just add that carry to the lsb so that we'll get the result of this subtraction so that's the important point we need to remember so the first step find the binary number of first number second step find the negative value of the second number and third step Perform the addition between these two numbers, first number and the negative number of second number. And if you have got a carry, just add that carry to the LSB. So that we will get the result. So here, what is the result? So here we are having the carry. So obviously we need to add that. So 0, 0, 1, 0 is the result and add the carry. So 1, 1, 0, 0. So what is the binary equivalent of this one? So, 0, 0, 1, 1, that is 3. So, what is our uh, subtraction we are doing? 10 minus 7, the result will be 3. The result will be 3. So, only one thing just remember, if you got a carry after addition, just add this one to the LSB. So, add carry to LSB. Okay, after performing the addition. LSB of result will produce the result obviously we will get this one now now so if you are not having any carry if you are not having any carry then what is the thing so we'll see that that one one more example right so consider the same thing but in a reverse one see now i just want to perform 7 minus 10 
now the first number will be 7 second number will be 10 and the 7 the first number binary equivalent 7 0 1 1 1 and what about the 10 it is 1 0 1 0 and the ones complement of this one is 0 1 0 1 right so this is the ones complement now so this is the ones complement once complement. So once complement means a negative number. Negative number. So this can be implemented by using 7 plus minus 10. So this will be the minus 10. Okay, this will be the minus 10. Now perform the addition. So adding these two things 0, triple 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So you can see 1 and 1. So it will be 0 and carry 1. 1 and 1, 0, 1 and 1 and 1. So finally, we will get this one. 1, 1, 0, 0. So there is no carry. You can observe no carry. So if the result doesn't have the carry, that implies. So this is a once complement of a result. Once complement of result. The final result is a once complement of result. So what is this once complement of this one? So 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is a once complement of this one. So what is the binary equivalent? This is 3. So once complement is a negative number. So this will be minus 3. So the result of 7 minus 10, it will be minus 3. So hope you understood. Right? So two things we need to remember. The first two steps are common. The first number we need to find the binary equivalent of the first number and we need to find the negative representation of the second number by by using the ones complement so we can represent uh, a negative number by using ones complement or a twos complement and here we are using <coughs> excuse me we are using ones complement so by using the ones complement we are finding the negative number and then we are adding these two things and we finally we are checking whether there is a carry or not if there if there is a carry so we need to add that carry to the lsb of the resultant and, we, and if it is not having any carry and the final result is the two's complement of the result it is in the form of sorry it is in the form of one's complement it is in the form of one's complement of the result so final uh, the final result will be the one's complement of that thing so that we'll get this so for once complement is 3, so this is a once complement of uh, 3 is nothing but minus 3. The result is minus 3. So obviously we are getting this one as minus 3. Right? Hope you understood. Now I will write the steps and we will move on to the next one. See, I will write the steps. What we have to do? The first step. So if A minus B. Step 1, find binary equivalent of A. <coughs> Step 2, find binary equivalent of B step 3 find once complement once complement of B so to get minus B the equivalent of minus B next step 4 add step 1 and step 3 that means a plus minus b a plus minus b so that we get step 5 if we get a carry then add 
carry to the LSB to the LSB of step four to get the result. So if there is a carry, then add the carry to the LSB of step four. Okay, whatever the result we are getting in step four to that LSB, we need to add the carry to get the final result. Similarly, step six. Sorry, step five only. If we don't get the carry, if we don't get carry, then the result from step four is in one's complement of final result. So after finding the once complement of the result getting from step 4, we will get the final result. So these are the steps we need to follow to find the binary subtraction using once complement. It is a very 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 simple way. Okay. So all these steps are common till four, step 4. So step 5 is most important. So whether we are getting a carry or we are not getting a carry. If you are getting a carry, simply add that to the LSB. If you are not getting the carry, the final re the, the result will be in the form of 2's complement of final result. Right? Now, so hope you understood this one. So already we have seen the example. Now, let us see the binary subtraction using 2's complement. That is also very simple and very easy and also similar. Right? So here also in, in using 2's complement, the first step, find the binary equivalent of A. Second step, find the binary equivalent of B. Third step, find the to, instead of one's complement, we need to find the two's complement of B to get minus B because the negative number, I mean the negative value can also be represented by using the two's complement, either one's complement or two's complement. And here in this procedure, we are using the two's complement. So we need to find the negative representation by using a two's complement so that we will get a minus B. Now, Add step 1 and step 3, this is also common. So once we get the positive number and the negative number, we can add those things. So A plus or minus B. And now here if we get a carry, then 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 discard or ignore discard or ignore the carry. And the result will be final. The result will be final. So just we can discard the carry. So after discarding or ignoring the carry, so whatever the result we are getting, that will be the final result. And coming to the next one, if you don't get any carry, if you don't get any carry, then the result from step 4 is in two's complement of final result. So we need to find the two's complement. That will be in the format of two's complement. That's the only step. So if you are having any carry, just remove that query or ignore the carry. And if you are not having any carry, then the result will be in the form of two's complement of the final result. See, let us take an example now. Okay, let us take an example. So consider the same example. We'll consider the same example. 10 minus 7. See, example 1, 10 minus 7. So, this can be performed as 10 plus minus 7. So, the binary equivalent, the binary equivalent of 10 is 1010. 0, 1, 0. And similarly, the binary equivalent of 7 is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 now the 2's complement of 7 2's complement that means a negative value 
proof complement of 7 is 1 0 0 0 and 1 so we will get 1 0 0 1 so this is the truth complement this is the truth complement flipping and adding 1 now add 10 plus minus 7 so what we have to do so 10 1 0 1 0 and minus 7 1 0 0 1 so what we have to do so 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 10 okay so what we have uh, just discussed so here so if you are having any carry simply we can discard that carry and the final result is this one so you can discard this one and the result of this one is 3 so you know that 10 minus 7 that would be the result is 3 so we just we can discard the carry right so hope you understood this one so simply the first we need to find the binary equivalent of first number second number and find out the two complement of second number and add these two things so that if you are having any query just discard that query so that the result will be the final result now we will see the second second case okay so if you are not having any query now the same thing i will give so 7 minus so 7 minus 10 that can be implemented as 7 plus minus 10 so here we need to find the binary equivalent of 7 so which is 0 1 1 1 and binary equivalent of 10 so which can be represented as 1 0 1 0 so we need to find the 2's complement of 10 so then it will be so 1 0 1 0 with 1 oh, sorry 1's complement and 1 so 0 1 0 1 and 1 add so 0 1 1 1 0 so this is the 2's complement of 10 so we need to add these two things so that means a 7 plus minus 10 so what we have to do so we need to find out 7 7 means 0 1 1 1 and minus 10 means 0 1 1 0 so you can see the addition so 1 0 carry 1 and 1 1 and 1 so here we are not having any carry here not we are not having any carry so that means the two's complement the result is in a two's complement we need we need we will find this two's complement so one one zero one so two's complement is zero zero one zero and add one so one one zero zero so which is nothing but three so this is the two's complement of three which is nothing but minus three the result will be minus three right so hope you understood this one so just in this case we are not having any carry so if you are not having any carry that implies the result is in the form of form of two's complement okay so we will find the two's complement of this result so that we will get this three so that means this is a minus three this value is a minus three because this is a two's complement of this result right so hope you understood this one so this is how we have to find the binary sub subtraction using two's complement so in this session we have discussed about uh, finding the binary subtraction using one's complement as well as two's complement right so hope you understood this procedure and if you are having any doubts regarding this procedure feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.